I'm here at the Basecamp Telefonica in Berlin and we are having our first um, IoT Kitchen talk here. And um, right next to me I have Neil Harbison. Um, he is probably the greatest cyborg artist. Um, and um, yeah, Neil, welcome. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, Neil, um, please explain us what can you do with your antenna on your head? Um, it's an antenna implanted inside my body that allows me to extend my perception of color beyond the visual spectrum. So it allows me to sense infrared colors to ultraviolet colors. It also has internet connections so people can send colors to my head. So if there's a beautiful sunset in Australia, my friend from Australia can send live images of the colors of the sunset to my head. So I can be sensing a sunset while I'm here. Or I can also connect to satellites and then I can sense the colors from space. So it's a new sensory organ that allows me to extend my perception of color and of life, basically. Great. And um, when did you decide to become a cyborg and what actually does cyborg mean to you? Well, cyborg is the union of two words, cybernetics and organism. So I am a biological cyborg because I am biologically united to cybernetics. So. I don't feel I'm using or wearing technology, I feel that I am technology. That's identifying yourself as a cyborg. But then there's also psychological cyborgs, people who might feel psychologically united to cybernetics and they identify themselves as being cyborgs, but they're not biologically united to cybernetics. But you can feel this in language. People maybe 20 years ago would say, my mobile phone is running out of battery. Now people say, I'm running out of battery, as if they were the mobile phone. So. This is a sign of union between cybernetics and humans. So it's also a psychological cyborgs. Um, I became a cyborg in 2003. I started the project of the antenna 13 years ago, and then it became permanent in 2004. So I've been united to cybernetics for 12 years nonstop now. Okay, and tell me, do you think um, by using technology like you doing it, Do you think we, we, are, we become technology somehow as human beings? I think we are in the renaissance of our species. We are becoming technology. Now we are psychologically united to technology. And in the next few years and deca decades, we'll see more and more people biologically uniting to cybernetics. So we will all have uh, cybernetic senses, cybernetic body parts. And this will allow us to extend our perception of reality. I think it's inevitable that we are becoming technology. And then the next step would be that we need um, something like robolaws, or, or what do you think? Yes, robolaws are already being uh, proposed to governments, but then the next stage is also cyborg laws. What happens when people become the technology, not machines? You don't need laws for machines or laws for robots. You need laws for new types of humans. Uh, new types of species because we are redefining what it means to be human when you add new senses new organs that don't define the word human then suddenly you're creating new types of species so we will need to be very open-minded because diversity is going to be much much uh, wider than we've ever e experienced great thank you so much Neil and it's a pleasure having you here thank you very much thank you